Hello all benders and non-benders and welcome back to Avatar Generations and today we have got a brand new event with a brand new summoning banner and lots of rewards to collect so let's get right into it here. We have the Mask of the Rebel event. Now looking at this little background here is a very cool background. I'm sure you can imagine who the new character is but we will get to that in a second. For now we have this event. The um, quest that will give you basically rewards for completing all the other challenges. It gives you 50 nature stones per completion. You have 10 completions. That is a total of 500 nature stones right there. We're off to a truly fantastic start. But going through here, we have clearing some arts expeditions. Very simple. We have win any activity battles with rebel faction heroes on the team. You're going to notice that's very much a theme here is rebel faction heroes. Um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what free-to-play heroes we have that are rebels. I know we do have a couple, but I am totally blanking on them at the moment, but we will get to that. Um, that will give you just some materials here. Earn skip tickets, very simple, very easy. Give you some training scrolls, always good. Um, upgrade arts equipments once again very easy this one is interesting because it actually gives you four star duplication tokens or coins rather so even if you're not summoning this is a fantastic way to get some of those currency items so that you can summon in the summon shop if there's some four star heroes in there or some four star items that you want this is a fantastic way to get a jump on that. Looks like you can get a total of 30. It does require you to win battles with certain sets equipped. Now, the Lightning Art set is the purple one. That one is crit rate. You can get that one very easily in just the Arts Expeditions. The Time set is the white one in the Kiyoshi timeline on the big iceberg. You get this one for the... um. The resource node that then turns into a pirate fighting node. Um, refer to my timeline currency guide if you want to know what node I'm talking about. Not only can you get the very valuable timeline currency, you can get the arts you need if you don't already have them. And then the consequence set is in the new Hegemon's Folly event. That's the new um, counter set that you can get um, on the timed node. So that's where you can find those three art sets pretty easily um going through here we do have complete arts art expeditions or exchange resources in the shop for arts essence if i remember correctly that is this yes it is so you'll just get that passively and for that you will get a nice pile of energy um going down to here we do have the ever valuable ticket rewards completing adventures with rebel faction heroes on the team you can go up to one, two, three, four, five. So one completion on each of these, and then two completions on this, giving you a total of five summon tickets. So you got the five summon tickets there, lots of energy, some very good um, legendary coins there, some resources, and then of course the biggie is getting the 500 nature stones. Very good rewards there. Now we do have some new event shop items. We have a brand new um, item here called the Ice Frog, a brand new relic. You can get a total of six. You get two for the little Omashu tickets, and then you can get two for the scraps here, and then two for the feathers. This one's interesting because it's for um, special heroes. So basically, you know, anybody who's not a bender. Um... And it will remove negative effects from the caster and permanently increase the caster's speed by 10% if a negative effect is present on the caster when they are attacked. This happens three times per battle, and that will go up based on how many copies of the relic you have. <clears throat> so basically, if you get attacked when you have a negative effect, you get that effect cleansed, and you get a speed boost three times per battle. Not bad, honestly. A pretty cool thing, and getting a free relic is never bad. Now, we do get some Peace Chaos tickets here. You can get five total. Um, these are resources you get in the Kiyoshi timeline. 
Um, a relic ticket, always good. Once again, Kiyoshi timeline. And then I believe this is the um, enlightenment material for the brand new character we're going to talk about in a second. So yeah, very good rewards there. Before we do finish up with that, we do want to take a look at the summon shop here. We don't have any new items, but we, or excuse me, any new characters in the featured section here. But we do have this five star relic here, Shackled Hope, for officer characters. You gain invincibility and increased attack for one turn if the enemy is inflicted with a rank 2 element or higher when the caster attacks. This is on a one turn cooldown. So basically, it can be some self inflicted invincibility if you're inflicting those debuffs on the enemy. A pretty useful relic if you do happen to have some of these 5 star coins lying around. Not not a bad idea. There's a fair number of officer characters. A couple that come to mind immediately is Rongi, um, the new Captain Masaru. There, there's options that could be used with this one. So yeah. Now, without further ado, let's look at the new summon banner here. The Blue Spirit. Now keep in mind, this is a 200 um, pity banner. So it's going to be a little bit higher to get to pity. I guess they consider this guy to be a little more special. Um, I, I wonder who it could be. Who could it be? Um, but yeah, so we have Blue Spirit. Interestingly enough, he is a spirit character. Um, as well as a rebel character and a swords master character. He is a special offense character, of course. His basic here deals four hits of fierce damage to one enemy. This basically ignores all damage reduction effects. That includes defense. This dude can chop through defense like it's nothing. He heals himself for 5% of his max HP. And this attack cannot be countered and cannot land a weak hit. That means nothing's going to slow this guy down. Um, and then we have his advanced here, Vanishing Strike. Deal two hits of spirit damage to all enemies with a 50% chance to enter a vanished state for one turn. I imagine that would go up on skill ups. This attack cannot be countered and cannot land as a weak hit. So very cool stuff there. And then Sharpened Edge. Increase speed and attack by 5% for one turn when not in a vanished state at the start of every character's turn. So if he is not in a vanished state while everybody else is going, he's basically charging up. So it doesn't give a cap. I mean, he's going he's, he's gonna to be built to be fast if you're doing him right. But he's going to be charging up every single turn. Very interesting stuff there, and I'll be looking very forward to see what his masters are. Important little thing with this character is he does, he, he is technically already in the game because he was released during the pre-global release of the game, but now we can all get him on global, so very cool stuff there. And then of course we do have his relic, the Blue Spirit Mask, kind of makes sense. Um, this is for rebel characters and increases his turn bar by 10%. When the caster gains increased speed or attack buff, this can happen once per turn. And of course, if you do get some extra copies, you can crank that up a bit. Really kind of adding to this character being stupid fast. So, that is what we have for this event. Of course, the remaining percentages here are divided up against the supports as usual. And then 1% chance to get the blue spirit and a 1.5% chance to get the blue spirit mask. Very standard stuff. So yeah, that is what we have. Cool new rewards, cool new character. We'll of course be summoning on it, but do keep in mind we do still have a week of the very good Broken Bonds banner. So if you have to choose between, if you're if you're if you're running low on items or on on um, nature stones and tickets, conveniently this is a regular event, and we've had a couple weeks since our last regular event. So hopefully you've built up some regular tickets, but if you absolutely have to dip into nature stones, prioritize the broken bonds ones one first, I would say. These two characters are definitely meta viable. And then if you're done with that banner, then I'd say put nature stones into the blue spirit banner. But 
That said, the few times I have run into this guy in arena, he packs a wallop. So could get interesting with the current meta. Very much, very offensively, very powerful AOE focused meta right now. So we shall see. We shall see. But we shall discuss that another day. But until then, we shall see you next time. Have a good one.